Hello everybody, I hope you all have been well. In this video, we are gonna prove all the three fundamental identities of trigonometry. So let's get started, shall we? By the way, I am giving away two Oxford dictionaries to two lucky winners for achieving 1000 subscribers. So hurry up and get entered. Rules are sitting in the description box for you. And yeah, please subscribe to make sure your math teacher never gets mad at you. All right, to start the proof, consider this right angle triangle ABC, which has right angle at its C corner and angle theta at its A corner. Here ABC are called vertices of triangle and small ABC are the perpendicular base and hypotenuse respectively. So by using Pythagoras theorem, which states that sum of squares of perpendicular and base of a right angle triangle is equal to the square of its hypotenuse. So as per our triangle ABC, we have A square plus B square is equal to C square. Okay, before jumping further in the proof, I want you to memorize these trigonometric formulas that will help us in the proof or in the future in general. So these are the formulas that, we, that you will need. Uh, the good thing is that there is a mnemonic to remember these formulas using their initials. So I will tell you how I remembered it. Some people have curly brown hair through proper brushing. There is a variety of other mnemonics that you can find on Google for remembering these formulas. So you can choose whatever works best for you. And yeah, I put them in hearts because mnemonics makes our hearts happy by making things easy for us, right? <clears throat> so next step is to put these uh, the values of base hypotenuse and perpendicular of our right angle triangle in these formulas like so all right after completing the groundwork we finally reach the derivation of the proof so we will start with all the three identities simultaneously because they are all similar. As you can see for sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals to one, we divided the Pythagoras theorem by C squared. For tan squared theta plus one equals to secant squared theta, we divided that by B squared. And for cot squared theta plus one equals to cosecant squared theta, we divided the Pythagoras theorem by A squared. You must be thinking why? So the reason being is we want to use the trigonometric identities we just discussed to obtain our desired result. This reason will be more, more clear as we move, to, move on to the next slide. Now you will see what I was talking about. So as A by C is equal to sine theta and B by C equals to cos theta, we got the required identity, which is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals to one. Similarly, as A by B equals to tan theta and C by B is equal to secant theta, we got the required identity, which is one plus tan squared theta equals to secant squared theta. And lastly, as B by A equals to cot theta and C by A is equal to cosecant theta, we got one plus cot squared theta equals to cosecant squared theta. Hence, proved. So that's it for the video. I hope you learned something from this video. Um, let me know what, what other topics you want me to cover in the comment section down below. I will see you all in my next video. Have a great day.